Arrays can contain strings, numbers, booleans, and other types. Arrays can also hold any combination of values. For example, an array might have the string John in the first position, the number 100 in the second, and the value false in the last position. In fact, we can place an array within an array, even create an array that contains nothing but other arrays. An array inside an array is called a multi-dimensional array or two-dimensional array. This might sound a bit strange and confusing right now, but you can start to think of a multi-dimensional array as a list containing other lists. You can picture a two-dimensional array as a spreadsheet. Think of the spreadsheet as the master list, a list containing other lists. The data in this spreadsheet is organized into rows and columns. Each row represents one array or one of the arrays inside the master array. And each column cell represents one element in an array. For example, you might use an array to store the grades of multiple students. Let's say three students took four tests, each row represents one student, and each column is one test score. For example, the first row represents student 1, and their test scores are 60, 90, 70, and 100. The second student's scores appear in the second row, and their scores are 85, 95, 60, and 70. The third student's scores are in the last row. You have probably seen data like this in a spreadsheet. So what would this look like as a multidimensional array in JavaScript? You start by creating an array, then add elements inside the array. Each element is another array. You can add the first student's grades like this. Notice that there's another set of square brackets, which indicates that there's an array nested inside the array. You can add the next set of student grades by adding a comma and another array. Another comma and another nested array adds the last student's grades. Now, how do you access these different sets of grades? First, let's start with how you get the grades for a single student. Since each set of student grades is one element in the grades array, you can use the index notation you learned about earlier. For example, the first student's grades are at index position 0, the first element in the grades array. The second student's grades are at index position 1, the second element in the grades array. And the third student's grades are at index position 2, the third element in the grades array. Because each of those index values represents another array, you can access an element in a nested array using another index value. For example, the first array of student grades is at index position 0 of the outer array. To access the last grade in that first nested array, chain a second set of square brackets holding the index value of the last element like this. Now, how would you get to the first grade of the last student? Well, that grade is in the last nested array or at index position 2 of the outer array and position 0 of that nested array. This example uses arrays of numbers to represent student grades. But you can create a multidimensional array containing lists of any values, such as strings, numbers, and booleans.